welcome in the last video i have discussed that what is white noise process what is uh, stationary process white noise as mean zero standard deviation sigma square variance covariance equals zero whereas stationary process has mean constant variance constant and covariance is function of is not a function of time moving average process we have discussed that uh, this is basically weighted average of previous epsilon values and ARMA process is mixture of uh, autoregressive and moving average. ACF we have derived it for AR1 model and MA1 model. So important feature was that is AR1 model ACF was decaying geometrically ACF of MA model uh, MA1 model was zero after first lag. Uh, so today we will discuss AR2 and MA2 to get further understanding of this one MA2 and I'll try to explain that why for AR1 it's not getting zero after first lag. Partial autocorrelation that is simple correlation partial autocorrelation function their concept we'll try to discuss. ARMA model identification using ACF and PACF. So you see we are going to uh, start with AR2 model A1 yt minus 1 plus A2 yt minus 2 plus epsilon t. No, use Yule Walker equation and multiply equation 1 by yt on both sides. A1 e of yt minus 1 yt plus a2 e of yt minus 2 yt plus e of epsilon t yt. Now multiply the same equation 1 by yt minus 1 yt yt minus 1 equal a1 e of yt minus 1 yt minus 1 multiply with yt minus 1 on both sides of the equation and then multiply it with yt minus 2 yt minus 1 yt minus 2 a2 e of yt minus 2 with yt minus 2 plus expected value of epsilon t yt minus 2 and so on expected value of yt yt minus s equal a1 expected value of yt minus 1 yt minus s plus a2 et e yt minus 2 yt minus s plus e epsilon t yt minus s. So now if you see this one is your uh, variance between uh, uh, this one is variance between uh, yt. This one is your gamma 1 covariance between yt yt minus 1. This one is covariance between yt yt minus 2. This one will be equal to sigma square if you verify. So the first equation will be gamma naught equal a1 gamma 1 a2 gamma 2 plus you will verify that this is equal to sigma square. The second equation one will be gamma 1. So this is covariance between gamma 1 a1 gamma naught. Why gamma naught? Because in this equation it's yt yt minus 1. So it's covariance between same variable will be variance gamma 1. Why? Because this is yt minus 2, this is yt minus 1 and this one will be 0. This one will become 0 and similarly we can see that gamma 2 will be equal to a1 gamma 1 plus a2 gamma naught and so on gamma s will come out to be a1 gamma s minus 1 plus a2 gamma s minus 2. Now if we divide the first equation was uh, if we divide uh, okay 
the uh, oh, gamma one was the previous equation gamma a one gamma naught plus a two gamma one this was the, uh, and the first one was gamma naught something okay now if we divide this equation by which was on previous slide here this one If we divide this by gamma naught, so we know that gamma one by gamma naught equal to correlation a one one plus a two gamma one by gamma naught. So this will employ rho one equal to a one plus rho one, and so from here rho one will be equal to row 1 will be equal to 1 or oh, a, a2 1 a1 over 1 minus a2 and when you divide this by gamma naught so it will be gamma 2 by gamma naught plus a1 gamma 1 plus a2 1 and this will be equal to row 2 equal to a1 gamma 1 and uh, uh, row 1 row 1 and row 1 we know this is a1 into a1 over 1 minus a2 similarly so on what will be row s row s will be equal to a1 raised to power s divided by 1 minus a2 so and you will have plus a2 here as well and similarly you you may have like so uh, uh, now please try to get it now please try to get it row 1 is row naught is 1 row 1 is equal to a1 over 1 minus a2 row 2 is equal to a1 square over 1 minus a2 plus some constant that doesn't matter row s is equal to a1 raised power s over 1 minus a2 so it means that your autocorrelation function, this was autocorrelation function. This autocorrelation function for AR2 process will decay, will decay exponentially or geometrically if A is exponentially or geometrically if A1 is less than 1 as we similarly we have seen yesterday in previous video a r 1 was row not 1 row 1 was a 1 row 2 was a 1 square same is the case no and in ma case ma 1 case we have seen that ma 1 your row not was 1 row 1 was some beta 1 over 1 minus beta 2 please check it from the last video and row 2 was 0 now so it means that ar2 ar1 ar3 for these things your acf will not become immediately zero after that order but for ma1 model it will become zero after the ma1 after leg 1 one final thing before we discuss ACF and PACF in detail, yt equal to beta 1, just a minute, sorry, okay, let's delete, yt equal to epsilon t plus beta 1, epsilon t minus 1, plus beta 2 epsilon t minus 2. Now apply Yule Walker equation. And do the same process. You will see that your rho naught will be 1. Rho, uh, uh, so, sorry, rho naught will be 1. Rho 1 will be some value. Rho 2 will be some value. But row 3 onward will be 0, row 4 will be 0, row 5 will be equal to 0. So you can see either last video or you can 
drive it yourself that after taking two legs after taking two legs for example i show you yt yt minus three so if i multiply it expected value ex so expected value of epsilon t beta one epsilon t minus one plus beta two epsilon t minus two times yt minus three yt minus three will be epsilon t minus three plus beta one epsilon t minus four plus beta two epsilon t minus five so you see s for s not equal to zero in the last video so you you don't have here uh, epsilon one t uh, uh, with this one this one this one covariance zero this one with the all this zero this one with all this zero so your gamma 3 will be equal to zero which means rho 3 is equal to gamma 3 over gamma naught this will be equal to zero rho 4 will be zero so in ma order in ma your acf and psf your acf decays if it is ma1 your acf decays after first leg so this is zero leg after first leg it is zero if it is ma2 it's at leg 2 and then it it's zero whereas acf for mar1 model is at leg 0 it's 1 at 1 this one but it will never become zero immediately so this is acf for this is acf ma1 ma2 this is acf for ar1 or ar2 so i hope you got the point that from acf if it's it's its value becomes immediately zero we'll think that it's moving average order process why it decays uh, geometrically because we have seen that y t that rho naught is one rho one is equal to a one rho naught rho 2 is equal to a1 rho 1 what is rho 1 rho 1 is equal to correlation between yt yt minus 1 and what is rho 2 rho 2 is correlation between yt yt minus 2 so you see no and this is equal to a1 times correlation between yt yt minus 1 so you see th this one this one is this and this one is this please try to understand no you see this yt minus 1 is correlated with yt and this yt minus 1 is also correlated with yt minus 2 because rho 1 is basically correlation between yt and yt minus 1 and it's also between yt minus 1 and yt minus 2 so it means this one is correlated with this one as well as with this one so it's called auto correlation or this is called correlation if you want to find out partial auto correlation function what will be the case that you have to calculate between yt and yt minus 2 by holding the effect of by eliminating the effect of yt minus 1 from both so in that case correlation partial auto correlation function will become zero after two legs and it will become zero after first leg if it is ar1 model yt a1 yt minus 1 plus epsilon t so now you see if rho naught is 1 rho 1 is a1 rho 2 is equal to a1 square basically in this case what's happening yt yt minus 1 and yt minus 1 is correlated with a1 yt yt minus 1 is correlated with yt minus 2 plus epsilon t minus 1 so this yt minus 1 is correlated with this one as well as with this one but if you take partial correlation means if you eliminate the effect of third variable you calculate yt yt minus 1 correlation so, and you hold the effect of yt minus 2 means you are eliminating from both then this correlation after lag 1 will become 0 
and as we are basically partialing out netting out so this is called partial autocorrelation function and for ma model it will decay geometrically so now we have got the point that how ar1 ar processes ma processes behave in uh, their acf and pacf behave so now we can decide that if we have acf of decays uh, become zero after certain lag it means it's ma process and if pacf becomes zero after lag given lag it means it's ar process and it's acf far AR will decay geometrically and PACF for MA process will decay geometrically. And if it's a mixture AR MA, then if it is a mixture, then then both AR1, ACF, and PACF will decay geometrically both both will decay geometrically or exponentially for a seed if process is stationary and for stationarity ar1 we have imposed this condition and moving average is always stationary and i'll i'll discuss these things later on and after this i'll also discuss how to do all these things uh, in practice by using some simulated ar ma1 models ar models and we will we'll, we shall use in r as well uh, step by step thank you for watching take care